In this video, I'm going to walk you through the setup and the use of the Fifine K66 9B microphone. At the time of this recording, this microphone costs around $46 on Amazon.com, and I think it's a great, easy to use microphone for anybody who's looking to improve the quality of the sound of their voice on Zoom or any other video conferencing app. This tutorial is made for PC and Mac users. In this video, I'll let you know in the bottom right corner what microphone I'm using to capture my voice. That way you have a comparison for how the Fifine K66 9B sounds as compared to the other microphone which I'm using, which is the Shure SM7B, this microphone right here. If we haven't met before, my name is George and for the past nine years, I've created videos for Google, Facebook, and the NFL. Let's take a look at what's inside the box. Okay, here's the box that the microphone will come in. On the top, we've got a user guide. We'll put that aside for now. A little promotional material, padding. Here's the little tripod. And here is the microphone with a microphone mount. This microphone uses what's called a USB type A connector. If you've got a computer that has USB 3.0, USB 3.0 is backwards compatible with this connector. If you've got a MacBook Pro from 2016 or newer, the only additional accessory that you might need is a USB type C to USB type A adapter. So now we're gonna take that little tripod and we're gonna rotate it in in a clockwise direction into the female gold receiver. With this microphone, there's one optimal orientation that we want and that's where our mouth is facing towards the volume knob. The position that I have the microphone set up in right now is one where the microphone is about three-fifths distance away from my mouth. One, two, three. So ideally, you would have the microphone positioned directly in front of your mouth, but in the real world, a lot of times you don't wanna have a microphone showing in your video. So what I recommend is instead, position the microphone wherever you think is comfortable and wherever it looks good for your video and position it so that it's angling towards your mouth. Now, even though the microphone is not positioned directly in front of my mouth, you can still hear the sound of my voice in a nice clear fashion. Something else to think about with this microphone is that it doesn't totally isolate your background noise, so you'll still wanna be in as quiet of an environment as possible. So now we've got the microphone set up on the tripod. We're gonna angle it as best as we can towards our mouth. If you needed, you could also place books underneath the microphone to place it higher. But again, once you have the microphone higher and more in front of your mouth, you're not only also introducing the visuals of the microphone into your video, but you're also blocking potentially parts of the screen that you're wanting to look at while you're speaking. Now we're gonna take the USB cable and plug it into our computer. Through my testing both on PC and Mac, I've found that the ideal position for the volume knob is right around nine o'clock. This is just a general recommendation, so I recommend that you do your own testing to find the ideal position for the volume knob in your environment with your own voice. Now we need to check to see that the computer is reading the microphone correctly. Now if you're on PC, you're gonna go ahead in the bottom here and type sound. That first option that comes up, sound settings, go ahead and click that. And for input device, we're gonna go ahead and click the drop down and make sure to select the USB PNP audio device. Mine says three just because I've been unplugging and plugging it in. But again, the device that we're looking for says USB PNP audio device. And now we can also see that our voice is being captured because we've got that blue volume meter going. If you're thinking about this as a meter from zero to 100%, we want to put the mouse right at around 75%. And that's generally where you want your voice volume to be at. Now the last step on the PC, we'll go ahead and open up Zoom. We'll go ahead and click the settings icon. We'll go ahead and navigate to audio. Under microphone, make sure to select the USB PNP audio device. And now we will speak into the microphone and take a look at where the input level is going. And again, we want it to be right at around 60 to 70% if we were thinking that all the way to the left is zero and all the way to the right is 100. Right around here is great. And now we'll do a mic test. Hello, this is George doing a mic test on the PC in the Zoom app. Hello, this is George doing a mic test on the PC in the Zoom app. And that's it for setting up the Fifine K669B on a PC. If you're a Mac user, first we'll go into the upper left corner, click the Apple, navigate over to System Preferences, then go over here to Sound, and click Input. Make sure that you have USB PMP device set, and move the input volume knob all the way to the right. And that looks good here. Now the last step, we'll go to zoom, navigate over to the right and click the settings icon. Over here on the left, we'll click audio. From the drop down menu under microphone, we'll click USB PNP audio device. We've got our input volume set to the max and we see our input level is hitting right around 60 to 70%, which is perfect. And so for the last step, we'll go ahead and click test mic. 
Hello, this is George doing a mic test on the Mac using the FeeFine microphone. Hello, this is George doing a mic test on the Mac using the FeeFine microphone. And that's it. If you're looking to purchase a microphone that's $50 or less, this is the microphone I recommend. And the link to purchase it is in the description. If you found this tutorial helpful, be sure to hit that like button, put a smiley face into the comments, and be sure to subscribe to the channel. I'll catch you guys on the next one. Peace.